Wolf, DJ Wolf here, live and in living color this morning. Um, got a couple of things on my mind here. First thing I want to start off with is it, it, it looks like we're facing the music today. All right. When I mean by facing music, I think a lot of the things are coming to the forefront about race in this country. People tend to avoid it. We need to have a real, honest to goodness to God dialogue about race in this country. And understand, there are different racist creeds and colors in this country. And we need to be respected for who we are. Not disrespected because of something you don't like about the person. Okay? Because even if you don't like that person, show some humility, compassion, some respect for, for one another. You know? We go around people every day we may or may not like. But does that mean you, mean you gotta put your hands on them? Does that mean you have to hurt them? Do bodily harm to them? Because of something about their race, creed, or color, or sexual orientation that you don't like? No, you don't have that right to do that to anybody. You know, it's something called respect. Okay? There's sports figures, there's entertainers, there's everyday people, some people I may or may not like. Am I going to disrespect them because I don't like them? No. Common sense tell you, hey, do unto others. That's the Bible saying. Do unto others as you will want to be done unto yourself. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, when you want somebody to show compassion for you, you know, the problem is we, we, we forgot about that. I think the things that we were taught as children, many of us, when we get older, we forget that. We need to bring those morals back into our lives as an adult so we can be better examples of adults to our children so that they can be better examples of children when they're adults. Because right now, with all this mess going on, it's just ridiculous, man. I don't want to get into talk about all this stuff. You know, I'm going to talk about it. But I'm not going to spend too much time on, on, on dwelling on it. But what I will say is this. The media, once again, is trying to manipulate certain things with these shootings. And to sit there and put a picture of Philandro Castillo uh, going like, you know, dressed up like he's going to work. And then put another picture of a guy who they claim was a suspect that looked like him, the media is already fucking, by fucking your ass already. Yeah, think about it. They want you, they want to put a mindset in you to think, oh, well, he could have very well been this guy. You know, they're already doing that shit. And I mentioned this the other day, that the media like to manipulate your brain. And they're doing it again. They're mind fucking people already. They have people leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, we're just catch mistaken identity. Really? Well, mistaken identity or not, you don't open fire on the guy uh, when he when he when he tells you that he that he's registered for a firearm. Really? I'm just it's just here. Here's the other thing. Uh, I heard uh, satellite raw one of one of the. Uh, Satellite radio shows the other day, yesterday, matter of fact, and he mentioned um, about the president going to Dallas to talk, you know, to speak about uh, the situation that happened down in Dallas. And I have to agree with him. He should also go to Baton Rouge and to Minnesota to speak on behalf of those victims and the victims' families as well. Because this is where all that mess started at recently. You know. A case of mistaken identities. You know. Not only that. But this isn't so much about a case of mistaken identities. This is about flat out racism. 
and racism. You know, because the, the so-called alleged suspect was, a, you know, was a suspect, you're going to be a, you know, an alleged perpetrator. You're going to just treat him like shit. You don't even know what he actually did or did not do. You, there's no proof of it. That's just somebody said that they did it and you want to attack him anyway. You're going to be well beyond the law. And so-called bring your own justice. Meanwhile, you're not even serving justice. You're part of the criminal element. Once you go past what you should be doing as a cop and breaking laws, we're talking about the racist. We're talking about the guys who were doing, they were doing it in uh, Minnesota and Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Those guys, those cops. Once you go beyond what you were doing as a cop, you're breaking the law. That's the bottom line. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. You're breaking a goddamn law. Period. When you sit there and you pin down a, an alleged suspect and you t with your left arm, your partner got him on the right arm, and you take your gun. And you pop him in his chest full of rounds. And tell me that shit was justified? How can you sit there and say that? And the media won't even show the entire video. The mainstream media. I've, I've shown it. I put it out there. We need to see it. Everybody in this country needs to see it. You need to see how corrupt and how wrong this was. I'm not going to hold back on, on, on my feelings about this anymore. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to fucking do it. Wrong is wrong. The governor, the mayor, and so far the president have not actually came out and condemned what happened with Alton, Sterling, or Philando Castile since it happened. Nope. Definitely not the mayor, not the governor, and not the police chief of Louisiana has said anything about that. Not publicly, not the, none, none for that I heard of. You know, they haven't. And, and Matt, or, or here's the other thing: none of those officers in those two shootings have been arrested. No. Here's the thing that really bugs me. How is it that those two officers and those two shooters have not been arrested? They both on video got caught doing what they were doing. Wrong as fuck. Especially the one in Baton Rouge. You pin down the man. You and your partner. After you tackle him down to the ground. You take your gun out your right hand, out your right holster, and you blast him. And you don't get criminally charged. You don't get detained, thrown in jail, nothing. And black people are supposed to be calm. Oh, black people, be patient, be peaceful. We got to be peaceful. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? We the, one, we the motherfuckers got to be peaceful all the goddamn time. Every time this bullshit go around, oh, be peaceful, be calm, pray up. Forgive, 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 huh? Yeah. Those are the main things they always tell us. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> you know, I'm at my wit's end about this mess, man. And at some point, <coughs> this country has to face the music on this. You have to. We got an election come up. It's coming up uh, later on in the fall, later in the year. That's going to be the most decisive elections, one of the most important elections, in the, the most important election in the history of this country. And not in the history of the world, but definitely the history of the country, for damn sure. Uh, Bernie Sanders also, I heard, 
has officially endorsed Hillary Clinton, which basically means he's out of the race. You have to be if you're if you're conceding to her with an endorsement, you're out of the race. It's gonna be it's gonna be a struggle, I tell you. But we do need to face the music about racism. We can't run away from it anymore. The genes out the bottle. You know. One thing I, I will say this. You cannot, and I repeat, you cannot keep murdering innocent black men. And I'm gonna say innocent because I'm saying innocent until proven guilty. Even if they were guilty as far as I'm concerned. You don't sit there and pop a cap in the man because of what you thought. That's criminal. Regardless of whether you're black or white. Regardless of whether you're civilian or wearing blue. Okay? Crime is crime is crime. That's all there is to it. And it's high fuck of time that people stop hiding behind the, the, the uh, thin blue line. Okay? It's time, high time for good cops to stop trying to hide bad cops. Real talk. Get out there and and put and and, and bring these guys to justice. It's high time for our politicians, our state legislators, okay, the higher ups in the government. Local, political, mayoral, governments across this country need to get up off the asses and really bring justice to the forefront and stop hiding it. Stop hiding those bad people behind this bullshit. Okay? You say you want you want America to, to be to be the way it need to be, the land is free and home of brave, and justice for all. Well, stop talking to talk and walk to walk. Stop walking to stop. Stop talking about it, and and do something about it. Make it happen. Make it happen. Cause this is ridiculous. If you're about the truth behind this country, if you're about this country being where it need to be today. In terms of uh, racial equality and racial justice. Let's, let's make it so. Stop with the rhetoric. And start with, the, with, 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 with getting an open dialogue out here. Stop trying to front. Stop lying to your citizens of this country. I will say that. One of the things I've been noticing Stop lying to your citizens of this country. I think for too long we've been we've been hijacking and lying to our own people in this country about the truth. Stop trying to hide behind racism. We want to make America great the way it's supposed to be made. The only way it's going to happen. The only way it's going to happen. You have to stop racism. Racism must end. It must end. That's all there is to it. Stop hiding behind these racist lies and these racist people. <clears throat> we need to end it. And we need to end it soon. Bottom freaking line. Bottom freaking line, guys. This is DJ Wolf. I got more to say on the back burner. But before I do, 
before I do, I want you to do the following for me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all regarding anything I said, all right, please feel free to drop me a line for all to hear at gmail.com for all to hear at outlook.com. I can also be reached on Twitter at for all to hear. And on YouTube at For All To Hear TV. Guys, this is DJ Wolf. I said what I had to say. Let's go, buddy. I said... I gotta get rid of this dog. Get the... Get the cage. Get the cage. I'm running. I said what I had to say. And I got a lot more to say about it. Because you know what? Until... We have... Racially... Equality, true racial equality across the board in this country. I'm gonna keep talking about it. I'm gonna keep talking about it. And I'm not gonna stop talking about it. I can't stop. I won't stop. And I will not stop. Talking about it. We come too far, but too long in this country not to deal with the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room, of course, being racism. I'm not going to stop talking about it, guys. I won't do it. As long as this keeps and exists, as long as we're Murdering people of color for no reason. That's across the board. Whether you're a cop or a civilian. I want to continue to talk about the injustices. I'm not going to stop talking about it. I'm tired of people getting away with murder all the time. Literally. Racism is something I will not tolerate. And every opportunity I get from now on, I'm going to talk about it. This is DJ Wolf. Just glad that you're listening. Glad to have the opportunity to, to tell you my side and how I feel about different things. And I'll talk to you guys later.